<laughs> Get your hands off him. Uh, in case you didn't notice, he's on top of me. Oh, oh, oh Stone Cold. So Cold. Stone Cold. Whoa. 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 Greetings. Um, the Jekyll. Uh, that is Damien. We all feel most peculiar. You're drunk. <laughs> Which was your first clue? Um. Mm. Oh, thank you. How much have you had to drink? Damien had a vodka, or, th or three, but it was just a, it, it was just a prop, an appendage to his elegant persona. Your what? When uh, Damien's job was to charm the rival fashionista, but then the jackal reared his socially inept head He's and all. He's babbling like this since I found him on the Elm Street. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the Vic, Vic Snow was most surprisingly helpful tonight after your grasshopper found himself inexplicably on the pier without a memory as to how to get home. She, she rendered him aid and comfort. What'd you do to him? Nothing. I found him like this on the pier. He was going to lay down and sleep there. I thought he'd be a sitting duck for mugger. Oh, so Damien can hold his liquor. <clears throat> Alas, the jackal cannot. Ooh. <laughs> why, why, why were you drinking vodka? Well, to appear relaxed. You know, nonchalant and all. Oh. Um, Damien. Damien projected style, class, and... He had an Australian <laughs> accent. <laughs> why do you keep saying Damien? Well, Damien's me. Well, he was for a brief and shining moment. Until disaster struck. When do you worry about Spinelli? I felt sorry for the guy, okay? He was acting crazy at the Haunted Star. Yeah, what were you doing at the Haunted Star? Anyway. I told you I was charming the rival fashionista. He was gambling with Jasper Jackson, Kate Howard, and some other woman, and talking that fake Australian accent. Yeah, the, the, the um, Valkyrie's White Knight um, took pity on the jackal and taught him the secret of woo. Secret of what? Woo. Woo. <laughs> Wooing. <laughs> Wooing and winning the female, the female heart. He taught me, he taught me how to, he taught me how to st he stand and, stand and, and speak and, and talk and, and hold a drink. And lo and behold, it worked. I was transformed. I was transformed into Damien and I, I, I impressed, I entertained, I charmed. And then at the most crucial moment, the masquerade failed. <sighs> What happened? Ah, the details are too painful to recount. From what I understand, some girl showed up and... Yes, the fairest of the fair! Highly ever unattainable! I guess Spinelli saw her and lost his nerve and dropped the accent and then got drunk. Trying in vain to draw my sorrows. And then, I don't know, he ended up on the Elm Street Pier, which is that's where I found him and I brought him home. <gasps> Why? What is your problem? Is it so hard to just say thank you? Jack offers his sincerest thanks. That's okay, Spinelli. I'm talking to Jason. Let him answer. Okie dokie. I found Spinelli drunk and disoriented on the pier. Mm -hmm. I tried to help him out. Is that so hard for you to understand? Big Spinelli did a good deed. You wanted me to owe you. <laughs> it ever occurred to you, Jason, that I owe you for saving my life and maybe helping your friend was my way of saying thank you? Yes. Now, everything Big Spinelli does has an ulterior motive. You know, for all your tough guy attitude, maybe your grasshopper here has more common sense than you do. Would you like to break bread with us? No, Did you no. just invite me to dinner? Well, see, the room is starting to to rotate in a most alarming manner, and I just thought maybe some carbohydrates oh, might you be have beneficial to me. Honey, you need something oh, greasy and full I'm of carbs. So you better order a pizza before Damien yaks oh. all over your floor. Mm. Thanks. Mm. Did you check and make sure they got the order right? Because I ordered pepperoni. I want to make Jack sure that they got... Hey, no. Is better. no hey, stay right here till we get some food, okay? Oh, oh. Hey, you checked to see what was in it. I ordered pepperoni. You're not big on conversation, eh? You know what? You can leave anytime. I am going to have a slice of pizza. I'm hungry, so shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bad joke. <laughs> well, I haven't had time to stock my new refrigerator in my new apartment mm. since you burned down my house. So I'm going to eat the slice, and then I'll leave. We are delighted to have the company of such a charming and, dare I say, fitching young lady. Shut up, <laughs> Spinelli, eat you your pizza. You know what? Stop. Just you stop ordering him around? Maybe if you treated him better, he wouldn't have to go around acting like an Australian Romeo just to feel good about himself. The Jekyll appreciates your spirited defense, but it is most unnecessary. No, you know what? It's not. Someone has to stand up to this bully. How could you possibly have such a sweet friend and treat him like dirt? 
Vixenella is sorely mistaken. Stone Cold is a superlative friend to the Jackal. Not that I can see. Mm. Stone Cold is loyal and supportive, and not only has he saved the Jackal's life numerous times, he provides guidance and counsel, a well-paid vocation, and this superb place to live. Granted, my chambers are of a regrettably pink shade, but you know, the pink hue of my regrettably pink room is actually proved most beneficial to my focus and concentration. Hey, none of that makes up for the way that he treats you. Okay. Stone Cold is occasionally terse in speech, so that may have given Vixenella the wrong idea as to his inherently generous nature. Okay, let me see if I got this right. You pay Spinelli and you let him live in your pink room. He does all your computer hacking, which is a crime, by the way. So you have this kid breaking the law and getting shot at. In my book, that makes you a pretty lousy friend. It's true, Spinelli. I haven't done you. Any favors, no, that's the, for sure. Did Jekyll protest the veracity of that most misleading statement? Your grasshopper was already in toils with mobsters, namely the shark skin Darth Alcazar when he and Stone Cold first met. Darth Alcazar? Mm. Lorenzo Alcazar paid the Jekyll heftily for his cyber services, but then Stone Cold came in and changed my life for the better by being a bastion of integrity. From one mobster to the next, yeah, that's really bettering yourself, Spinelli. Okay. Well, the Jackal appreciates Vixenella's assistance and concern. He must ask her to refrain from engendering guilt and stone cold on the Jackal's behalf. It's sweet the way he hero worships you. It's like you're his older brother. Oh, the Jackal could only hope to be worthy of a sibling like Bond with stone cold. Being an older sibling is a sacred bond. You always have to be there for your little brother. You never, ever let him down. You finished with your pizza? You're not good at taking advice, are you? Okay, I can take a hand. Big Snows, welcome to more soda. Thanks, yeah. Spinelli, but your hero is practically booting me out the door, so have another piece of that pizza, and you'll feel great in the morning, okay? Bye. Stay here. The man who delivered your food was exposed to the Asian ague, a highly contagious illness. To avoid further outbreak, you're all under quarantine. No one may leave the premises. 